So recently you guys might have seen that Kaden got a backpack for his birthday. So I wanted to share this video to show you guys how we are utilizing it and what we are putting in it. So if you guys haven't seen my birthday haul, you wouldn't have seen that Kaden received this backpack, which is super cute. So the backpack that Kaden received for his birthday is this super cute skip hop backpack and it is in the monkey design, which I absolutely love. I just love this backpack. It's so cute and it fits a lot. So the way that we decided to use his backpack is because of course he's still young and I need to use his diaper bag. We're going on long trips still, but we decided to use his backpack for church because it's just the right size and I don't have to bring this huge diaper bag to church. I can bring something really small because church is only about an hour. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys what we pack inside it for church and Hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys. Um, it doesn't have to be for church, but this just shows what we use on, I guess, one hour trips. Okay, so first things first, you guys can obviously see on the outside pocket here, we have one of Caden's sippy cups. I mentioned in my February favorites that now we are only using the ones that have straws. I'm going to let you guys know I don't recommend this one though. It's by Munchkin, I think it was like $3, and it's worth about $3, or maybe $1.50, it leaks so bad but anyways this is what he has filled with juice so that's what I used as uh, an example of what we were packing it because obviously it's not Sunday today so yeah then I'll start off on this front pouch this front pouch is kind of things that we won't need all the time so I kind of put it in there um, first off I have his medicine bag so I will switch this from his diaper bag to this in case you know it's just an hour but you never know when you might need something I don't know so also in the very front pocket if you guys can see it's a little front pocket there I have my wallet my house keys and my PO box key I keep a sucky because I want to know where it is I don't want to have to dig through a whole bag I have some wet ones in the little packages because you never know when you might need those and then I have a fruit rocket a little applesauce and my lip gloss. This time, a lot of times helps while we're in the church. Just it's real easy to feed. I don't have to pull anything out, and it's just like a squish into your mouth type food. And I just personally always have to have an U.S. lip balm because the weather is terrible here, and my lips are chapped. And in the main pocket, you can see it's it's pretty packed in there. So first off, I can see I have my nursing cover. I have two, luckily, so I just leave this one in there and then I have the other one that's in my diaper bag. So this is the one I bring in his backpack. Then I have this, and this goes from diaper bag to backpack. Um, you guys wouldn't have seen this because I haven't done an updated what's my diaper bag yet because Caden isn't exactly a year old and that's why I'm not doing it. But this was made by my sister-in-law. It's just like a diaper case thing and I love it. Um, I know I had the other one but this one like matches my diaper bag and I know that's really girly of me because what does it matter but I just love it and I feel like it's actually a little more compact. So in here all I have is a changing cover and this is just changing pad I mean and this is the one that just came with my diaper bag. Um, it folds up nice and small and it has the velcro and it just fits really nicely inside here. Then I just have whoop, a wipes case. I have two diapers because I'm usually only going for an hour so I've never had it where I've needed more than two and then I have hand sanitizer and then some coconut oil and a super damn sample thing and I love this case because it's just super simple to transfer from one bag to the other also if he has an accident then I can take the stuff out of here and put the messy clothes inside this bag because it is washable and I can just wash it after so it makes kind of like it's just nice Yay! Then I always think it's necessary to pack some sort of toys, but obviously you're not going to be wanting to bring something that's noisy, makes noises, that rattles really too much, because you don't want to disturb anyone if he's actually in the church with me. I don't want him to disturb anything, I, anyone, I just want to entertain him. So I have a couple toys that are like go-to toys that we bring. First off is this one, this is Squirt. This one does make a little bit of noise, but not that much. And he really doesn't play with it in the sense of spinning it. He'll just play with it in the sense of like making it walk and 
I don't know, it entertains him. So this isn't completely silent, but it definitely is an quieter toy and he loves it. Another one we bring is Sophie. Sophie, now again, this does squeak, but he doesn't squeak it. He only uses it for teething and he'll chew on it. So if he's having a really bad teething day, then I can just give him this. Along with the pacifier I showed you in there, that's another thing that helps if he's a little fussy. Then, two more toys I actually have packed in the bag are his cars. As you guys know, I mentioned this in his February favorites. He absolutely loves these cars. They're soft and he just loves to play with them. Another thing that I don't have packed in the bag because it wouldn't fit, but it is another option that a lot of times I bring are the blocks. I also mentioned this in my February favorites. They're really quiet and I can just stack them and he can hit them and it will entertain him for the hour. So these are another great option because they're not super hard. Even if they fall, they don't even make a noise. Did you hear that? Well, I guess you heard that, but you know, it's not plastic. Well, it's like rubber. I don't know why I'm going on about these blocks. <laughs> And then another thing I have is his snack cup. I just fill this up with a little bit of Cheerios. Um, this can entertain him, though the only thing is this is a little messy, so I do have to watch him and make sure that he's not going to dump them all over the floor. And lastly, in his bag is a spare change of clothes. He, you never know when he can have an accident. I know it's only an hour, but um, this is just a nice outfit. It's not super, oh, this is wrinkly, <laughs> but it's not super fancy, but it does look nice and people will understand if he comes in his nice church clothes and then changes into this. It's just like a nice little sweater and some little brown dress pants. They're a little wrinkly from being in the bag, but yeah. All that we pack in his backpack and what we use, we could use this for just one hour trips, but right now we use it basically for church um, just because it's a lot easier to just grab this and go out the door than lugging my huge diaper bag and when I don't necessarily need everything for just an hour. So I hope you guys like this video. I hadn't seen anything like it. Um, I know I'd seen like what's in my toddler bag, but Caden, I guess he's a toddler once he turns one. But I just thought it was just a cool idea to show what we bring to church and why we bring certain things to church and how to entertain him being one years old. Um, so I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next video. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering about my crazy makeup, um, I filmed a tutorial for it. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it up or not. I know in one of my last videos I mentioned a makeup tutorial and then I went to edit it and it was just like, ugh, like I don't know if you guys ever filmed videos and it was just like, pfft, I didn't like it. So I refilmed and did like a kind of cool, crazy spring St. Patrick's Day look. So if you guys want to see what I'm wearing right now, then there will be a video up shortly if it's not up already. But anyways, I will talk to you. You all later. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye.